Hi, this is Hot Rodder, Transformers Allen Online, doing a review of, it's a twin review of uh, Universe Powerglide and Stormcloud. I got Stormcloud because I want them to be uh, Darkwing's brother, so it's Darkwing and Dread, Darkwind and Dreadwing, I always get them confused anyway. He's the opposite one of Silverbolt anyway, because the games of Decepticon box set's just too, it's too expensive for me. Um, so Stormcloud makes it kind of a nice, um, a nice stand-in. Um, Powerglide is a really the, the mold is really good um, for the figure. I really like it. It's a bit weird looking, um, but I really like the actual robot mode that we get. Um, it's the same for both of them. It's identical for both of them. Obviously, uh, one's just a, a Decepticon repaint of the Autobot original. Um, Powerglide, as you can see, is the kind of warthog um, jet, similar to what he was in G1, though beefed up. Uh, to an ultra size. Um, the color scheme on them is kind of a gray, co uh, a, a very light gray bordering on white uh, with red trims on the wings and engines um, and on these uh, thrusters here or exhausts or whatever they are. Um, also along the front and on the tail here at the back. Um, he's got some military detailing on him um, up along here. It says JJM7128. On the engine here it says B121209 or 9 rather. Um, and on the back it says M1051. Um, he's got uh, two Autobot logos uh, on either side of his wings, uh, which actually they, they have kind of military wings on them as well. And the 9G written in, the, in there. Um, and then there's some grey detailing along the cockpit and here on the thrusters with uh, see-through orange plastic there on the cockpit and on the rear of the engines. Um, he comes with landing gear uh, underneath as you can see there and uh, a button on top which gives off engine noises and gunfire noises and as you can see there the cockpit lights up and the engines in the back also light up. Um, we'll take him away now for a moment um, and we'll get on to the other guy. So this is Stormcloud. Um, Stormcloud comes in with an absolutely, it's a gorgeous repaint, very very Decepticon colours. Exact same jet, comes in a glossy black uh, finish over the body with silver uh, paint on the uh, nose cone and along the back here and around the cockpit. He's got a kind of a the military sort of um, or navy grey there, naval grey, um, on the side of the wings and on the top of the wings here. Um, it's a colour similar to MP Starscream. And then he's got these silver Tampo Decepticon logos with the wings on them as well. And he comes with um, MM89 along the side of his engines. Um, and that's it as far as the kind of serial number tampoing goes. Uh, he's got purple here on the engines and on the side here, purple uh, see-through plastic on the cockpit and on the engines on the back. He also comes with landing gear. And um, his he has a button as well which also gives off the same noises as Powerglide. On the underneath of both figures there is a, a weapon here which comes with a firing missile. Um, I have a tendency to, because they are uh, repaints, and I have a, a kind of a repaint policy. Oh, by the way, there's yellow here, which will be brought to the front uh, in robot mode. Uh, but because of my repaint policy, I kind of try and differentiate figures by, you know, um, changing little bits here and there, folding wings a certain way or whatever. Um, Powerglide's weapon um, I display with the um, the kind of front end of the gun there. Uh, facing forward with no missile in it, and this guy I display with the missile forward. It's just a personal taste thing, but the uh, the missile does fire. Though, there, oh, there we go. I thought it wasn't going to fire. Um, and that's kind of basically it, really. Um, the jets are. I mean, the jet is really cool. Like it's it's you know it's big uh, on both of them. You know, they look very very cool together. Um, and opposed to each other, you know. But um, I like the Warthog, I liked Powerglide when I was a kid, uh, an awful lot. 
and um, I certainly like this version of him as well. Um, he's just really, really, uh, a really, really cool um, alt mode uh, on both for Stormcloud. I prefer this color scheme. So um, that's really it. We'll uh, we'll look at going into the transformation now. And there is the Ultra Class um, Stormcloud uh, repaint of uh, Powerglide. Uh, we'll bring Powerglide in now so you can take a look at the two of them next to each other. So, uh, uh, as you can see, the mold is still uh, identical. Um, what I've done to differentiate the two is I've left Stormcloud, uh, Stormcloud's wings up um, and left the missile in and brought Powerglide's wings down uh, at the very back and um, has the reverse end of the gun pointing forward. Um, color wise, um, Powerglide stays pretty much the same. Uh, once the head is revealed you see there's more red. His eyes are, are kind of uh, almost black um, and then he's got a silver little thing on his uh, on his crown on either side, kind of looking like Optimus Prime, I guess. He's also got a little antenna sticking out the back here, uh, or out the side of his head rather. Stormcloud also has the same thing, and a Tampode Autobot logo is on display. Uh, for Stormcloud, um, a lot more yellow is brought to the foreground on the shin guards, or uh, here on his kind of abdomen, uh, and on the face. With purple eyes, um, and he's got the silver Tampo Decepticon logo on the front. Um, aside from that, the mold is exactly the same. There's nothing different between the two, apart from the color scheme. Um, I just went for the double dip, as I said, to use him as Darkwing's brother, um, because I just, like I said, the games of the Decepticon set is just too expensive. Um, I've actually got Darkwing just here, so you can take a look. Just bear with me. There you go, we've got the two of them together, um, and I think that it, it comes off pretty well, um, the two kind of Power Master Brothers together. Um, obviously, if he'd been in white with purple trims and things like that, it probably would have looked more like the G1 version, but I think that they work pretty well because they're both kind of odd colours. I do like this colour scheme more um, over Powerglide. I think Powerglide looks good. I don't really like the Hanke one, which is in the US colours. Um, because there's just enough red in the Autobot toy line. Um, I like this kind of white with the red trims and stuff like that. Um, but this guy is absolutely fantastic. You know, the both of them are fantastic. I just prefer this color scheme. Um, the button on the back of the robot um, can still be pushed on the back of the jet, and it actually lights up the eyes on both of them. Um, and that's really about it. There's, there's not an awful lot to say. Um, as far as posability goes on both of them, it's not the greatest um, because they're very, very top heavy. You can't really pull off a, a, an awful lot. Um, but, you know, they're going to end up on a shelf probably, so they're going to look pretty good all the same. Um, and that's really it where they're concerned. They are really cool figures. Uh, Model Mania actually has um, different versions. It has this version. Um, of Powerglide, this version of Stormcloud, and I think it's also he's uh, Model Mania also has the red US versions in there as well. Um, so they're well worth it, I think, um, just to get because they're really really cool. Um, as far as the score goes, the only thing that could detract from it is the top heaviness. Um, I prefer this paint scheme, so I would give him a four out of five and a three point five out of five because of the the paint scheme. Although it's good, I just this is my my favorite uh, of the two. Um, so yeah, I would recommend them get in touch with Model Mania. You won't find these on the shelves at the moment with the with the Revenge of Holland line doing uh, doing the rounds. So 
definitely get in touch with Model Mania if you can. Okay, that's it. Cheers. Bye.